he faced a uh, uh, condition. Uh, conditioning from patriarchy from very early on and this leads us to uh, be insecure and doubt our own skills so how can we minimize this impact or try to like you know uh, neutralize the impact of patriarchy on us oh i think uh, you know when we as a psychologist again we talk about change we talk about i want to change certain things about me i want to change because all of us have been born in certain kinds of cultures cultural setup all of us have born in patriarchy we've all marinated in patriarchy that has supported misogyny homophobia casteism uh, has been predominant in our cultures classism has been predominant we were we are born um in places context situations where before we could even have consciousness we were told certain things ladka aisi ladki aisi hindu aisa musliman aisa um upper caste aise lower caste aise just jo humne sab not just uh, gender we have learned so much through our parents through society through schools through colleges and um for me the only way out of all of this is if we if we talk at a intervention that is at an individual level is a commitment you need to make a commitment mentally that i want to evolve as a human being and i am committed to certain values as a human being freedom of speech is probably a value that i like Di- encouraging diversity is a value that i ascribe to um social justice is a value that i ascribe to non discrimination is a value for so i am going to read up understand talk to more people expand my horizons i am going to do the work that it takes to be a better human being because just saying that i was born in a certain context certain generation seems after a point of time it just seems like a mechanism to support status quo and part of the problem is there a shortcut to it no there is no shortcut to it it will be acknowledging okay every day you learn something when i started teaching i uh, ascribe i did not understand gender non binaries today i am trying to understand and i do understand a lot of your like for example many of us teachers and professors we have understood feminism which was rooted in the binary which was not trans sensitive now at least a lot of us we are wanting to evolve at least the ones who are we if we are committed consciously making this decision of being so being woke is not a hashtag or a fashion trend being woke is a commitment being made to your self that i am going to be a better human being today than i was yesterday with a lot of compassion for yourself uh with a lot of no it's not of course it's a lot of work but you know maybe with a lot of lightness to it um non defensiveness to it and accountability okay i for example if you were homophobic and you um Uh, let's say um, bullied someone in school way back you can always go back and apologize for it that's part of evolution and changing i'm sorry i was conditioned like that you didn't deserve that and i hope you're in a more peaceful mental state right now so yeah thank you for answering ma'am since we have stretched beyond time